Hello there folks, Nathan here, hope you're all well and welcome back to Food and Drink Reviews here on my channel where today we have a beverageino to, to review. Yes indeed, we've got a beverage for change. For change. It's been a while actually since I've uh, reviewed something drinkable uh, on this channel. Now uh, rewind to yesterday, um, so the 8th of August. Uh, today is the 9th of August, and I did say in yesterday's review of the uh, Mars biscuits, the Mars Secret Centre biscuits, that I did have something else to review. I was going to review it later that same day, because I was a bit thirsty, but I thought, no, I'll, I'll save it. I'll save it. So, it's the next morning. Uh, I fancy a drink, and I remembered that I had, I've, you know, overnight I'd forgotten I had this. And then I went, uh, cut a long story short, I went, made myself a coffee the, earlier this morning, and uh, when I went to get the milk out of the fridge, I spotted it. I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot I bought that. So I'm a bit thirsty. I fancied a drink, so I thought, right, let's get this video done at the same time. And that's what we're going to do. So this is the uh, Bassett's Flumps flavoured uh, fizzy drink. Uh, it's a fizzy drink. Uh, Barrett's is a sweet manufacturer. And Flumps um, are a type of marshmallow. I, can you still get them? I haven't, I haven't seen them in ages. I suppose you can. Um, I remember when I was younger, I used to have the odd flump every now and again. And um, basically what they are, they're a marshmallow. They're like a marshmallow stick. Uh, but they're, they're twisted. They're like two different flavour of, of marshmallows twisted round. A bit like a rope. It looks like a rope. Uh, so, yeah, that's what flumps are. Uh, maybe I should get some actual flumps to review. Uh, it's been ages now since I've tried them. Maybe I should try them again. Let me know in the comments. Well, yeah, anyway, this fizzy drink is supposed to taste like flump, so we will see. We shall see. So we'll have a quick look at the bottles. Not really much to show. It's just this. Uh, it's just like a plain bottle. Uh, that's what the liquid looks like. It's actually a bit lighter than that um, to the naked eye. The camera portrays it a little bit darker. Uh, maybe, uh, well, yeah, if I think it away from the camera, it gets a little bit darker. It's probably because the, lo the light from the window is shining on it. But uh, anyway, ad living, going off on a tangent. So, yeah, that's pretty much all there, all there is. There's a little bit of information there, which I'll, I'll have a look at in a second and see. What I can gather from it, but uh, apart from that, there's not really much to uh, have a look at. So Barrett Flumps uh, Vanilla Marshmallow Soda Drink. Uh, no artificial colours or flavours. Let me turn it round here. Okay, so it's made by Whatever Brands Limited in Ealing, London. Uh, yeah, okay. Made by Whatever Brands Limited, under license from Valeo Confectionery Limited. Barrett Flumps is the registered trademark of Valeo Confectionery Limited. Uh, this is recyclable. Do we have a best before date anywhere? Oh, here we are. There's, there's a little bit more information. It's 850 millilitres. Vanilla flavoured carbonated soda. Uh, sorry. Vanilla flavoured carbonated drink with 3% of apple juice from concentrate and added sugar and sweeteners. Uh, so there's the ingredients. Uh, best before, see below the label. Store in a cool, dry place. Below the label. Oh, here we go. Expires. Bless me. <sighs> Expires the 3rd of February 2024 at 0216. Okay, so that's 
that is fine. So, without further ado, there's nothing really more to do but give it a try. So, I've got a little glass cup there. Oops. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to have to hold it on. Got a little glass cup there, so we'll, we'll pour some in. I'll fill it about halfway. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting aroma. Oh, it's... That will do. Okay. There we are. Okay, right, so that's what it looks like then. So you can see it's uh, it's quite fizzy. There's a few bubbles in there, not a great deal. Not a great deal, but there's a few. Can't really see through. It's quite opaque, this uh, this liquid. Uh, well, then again, when you hold it up to the light, um, it is... But it is translucent. You can sort of see through it. Uh, I can see quite a lot of quite a lot of bubbles that have settled in there. Uh, there's not too many flowing though. Um. So really, that's there's nothing else to say except uh, let's give it a go. So let's have a, a quick smell. Okay, interesting aroma. It doesn't really smell like marshmallow. It smells like fruit. It smells a bit like the refreshes. Hmm. Oh well. Let's give it a go, shall we? Hmm. It's there. Very subtle, but it's there. The um, mm. <clears throat> sorry, I've just got something funny in my head. Try not to laugh. Um, yeah, it's very subtle, but I did taste marshmallow. And uh, yeah, as from what I can remember about flumps, it does taste like them. It's quite difficult to explain the taste of marshmallow, really. I mean, they're quite sweet. Um... I'm not too sure what they're meant to be flavoured with, though, marshmallows. Cause... I mean, you could get white ones and pink ones. I mean, the pink ones are probably rather strawberry or ras meant to be strawberry or raspberry, but I'm not sure about the white ones. Probably vanilla. I'm guessing they're probably meant to be vanilla flavoured. Um, and that's kind of what I'm getting here, but with that hint of apple juice, like they said, just to give it a, a slightly more fruity flavour. Let me have another sip. Mm. Yes, indeed. Hmm. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. There's not much I can say, really. Um, there's not really much I can say, but it's 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 nice. Don't get me wrong. It's very reminiscent of um, flumps. It does remind me of marshmallow. Again, I'd have to uh, try a real one again and see, you know, see how they compare. 
Actually, what I should have done, I should have bought some real ones because could, that could have been a, a good video, like a the drink, like a comparison video, you know, like a drink compared to the real ones. That would have been good. Ah, never mind. Oh dear, if only I'd thought of that before. But no, it's good. It's good. It's um, it does taste like marshmallows. Uh, it's not overly sweet. I don't think it's overly sweet. It's quite uh, mild, actually, um, for a soda. Um, it's not overly fizzy. I mean, it is sparkling, uh, but it's not overly fizzy, like where you, you know, you take a sip and the bubbles go up your nose and it makes your eyes water. Um, you know, it's not to that extent at all. Um, it's very lightly sparkled. Which is nice, it makes it easier to drink. Uh, and above all, of course, it's just refreshing. The flavours are quite refreshing. It's, it gives that sort of thirst quencher sensation. And of course, it's nice and cold because I've only just taken it out of the fridge. So uh, it's been in the fridge since yesterday afternoon. <clears throat> but yeah, all in all very good and it's another one to add to the collection because we've tried a lot um of these candy inspired drinks we've tried a few of the swizzles ones we've tried these a few of these you know i will keep my eyes peeled to see if there's any more flavors out there I'm not sure whether there is i think we've tried them all uh, but i will keep my eyes peeled But yeah, uh, another good product and some more footage for another review. So uh, let's go ahead and get this up uploaded. I was going to say upgraded then. Uh, uploaded. Let's get it uploaded. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up in the uh, underneath if you did. I'm losing my train of thought now. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know if you've tried any of these before, especially those of you who live in the UK. Have you tried them before? What's your favourite one? Are there any more flavours? Have I missed any? What would you like to see me try next? That's, you know, that's what I keep asking in every video and I don't get any comments. I never get any comments with suggestions and, you know, it's not really helpful because I'm running out of ideas. I'm running out of ideas. If you guys can give me some suggestions, you know, I can make a note of them, and then over time I can try and source the products and um, do a video on them for you. But, uh, hey-ho, try and uh, soldier on with the channel as much as I can. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you have subscribed, thank you for your support. It is greatly appreciated. And until the next video, whatever, or indeed whenever that may be now, I'm actually not sure. Uh, no. I mean, I've got, I haven't bought anything else to review and uh, not really many events coming up. So, uh, yeah, I don't know when the next video will be, but uh, whatever or whenever that may be, uh, it just reminds me to say, take care, stay safe. And as Grandad Murray used to say, stay happy. And from here in the UK, it is currently half ten, half past ten in the morning. So I will bid you a very good morning. Or, should I say, a very good day.